Hello everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and today you have theoretically shown up on purpose for Time for a Cuppa, a celebration of tea, a coloring book by Jen Racine, where we color in the book and drink the tea. So today is video number 22, so we are far along. I always put all the links to the other teas in the description box. So you can find any particular tea you would like to watch a video of. Um, I'm not going to go through them all today. We can do like a flip. We have a lot. They're really pretty pages. Um, today though, last week was Orange Pico. Today we are doing Poo Air. So um, I am not a fan of Poo Air. That is my own personal opinion. Um, to be fair, the one that I actually have here today is not that bad. Um, they taste differently. I think I need to explain them because they are a completely different tea. They don't taste like any tea that you have ever had. Um, so, a pu'er refers to the microbial fermentation. So there's, this tea is actually fermented and aged. And um, I know that they do it differently now. Like this particular one, which is from my Tea Runner subscription. And, and my husband really doesn't like poo air at all. <laughs> so he uh, was like glad that I was finally going to use this up. Um, so this is <clears throat> two to four years in age. So it is fermented, it is aged. They can be aged anywhere from two to four to 10 to 15 years. The process is faster now um, than it used to be. And I think it really only came about in the 1950s. They made, they came up with a faster process for aging the tea. Um, but it is aged for a while. So, um, and therefore uh, it, has a unique flavor because of the oxidation that it goes through. Um, so I was trying to remember what I was going to say. Um, it's called Pu'er because there was an ancient tr tea trading city called Pu'er, P-U hyphen, or not hyphen, P-U, uh, apostrophe er this has a hyphen in it um a lot of times it's just poo apostrophe er erh you'll see it spelled a whole bunch of different ways because they're translating chinese into english which usually happens um so and that city exists today in as Ninger Ninger town N I N G apostrophe E R town. So it is a dark tea. It is um, very dark, as you can see. That's why I wanted to use this. Um, I was trying to think if I could describe the flavor of it. Um, it's very smooth. It is not bitter. Not bitter at all. Um, it it. Some of them taste very earthy. Um, this one does not. I think that's what I like about it. Um, I would never buy it, but I would, you know I mean? I have this, so I would drink it. Um, now, the traditionally, they are pressed into cakes or shapes. Uh, so typically, when you get a poo air, it will be pressed. I think because... Um, the tea leaves are dried. I didn't get this far into the process, but the tea leaves are dried. And so I think they're typically wet. So I don't know why it's not. I have seen some loose leaf, but um, so you get it in a shape and you just put this in your teapot and then it um, dissolves and looks like normal tea. Um, Hard, it is, it's so hard to describe what it tastes like um, because it doesn't taste like tea. And I think that is due to the fermenting 
process. Um, obviously, that's what gives it its flavor, its microbial fermenting. Um, I'm afraid that any description that I can give of it doesn't, you know, is going to turn somebody off because in a way it reminds me of seawater, but it doesn't. Um, that smell, but it doesn't taste or smell like fish. It's just, I don't know, I can't describe it. So I'm sorry. I have to get someone to try it, I guess. Um, but uh, I have had a few different types, enough to know that it's not really my thing. So if you were wondering about the picture, uh, now you know, because I have a tea cake, um, that that is why it is pictured as it is. <laughs> so um, a lot of people like poo air. Um, it can be very expensive, depending. Um, and if you want a subscription, trust me, I'm not sponsored. The Tea Runner, I have had several, and uh, Tea Runner, I think, has the most to offer. If anybody's interested, I can't really tell you how much it costs because it was a gift. Uh, if it ever runs out, I'll probably continue it. Um, it was from my father-in-law, so I don't know if he's just continuing to pay for it. Maybe my husband picked it up. I don't know. Um, but it is a really good subscription. They have really nice teas. They last us for a long time. I feel like you get your money's worth out of the tea runner of all the ones that I have had so far. Um, so, and you can switch out. You get an email every month that tells you these are the teas, this is the description. So if you want to swap one out, and I remember we got this one, um, because I wanted to try it again. I was interested, so. But now I know for sure. I mean, it's not undrinkable. I mean, I'm certainly drinking it. Um, I do have a backup cup of Black Dragon Pearls <laughs> in my Crazy Cat Lady mug, just in case, uh, because it is a morning where I need some tea, for sure. Anyway. So I have picked out some colors. I realize, let me look at my, I wanted to, oops. <laughs> it's a very authentic picture. It has tea all over it. Um, I wanted to pick out a couple of weird browns for the tea and I couldn't do that till I had it up here. Weird browns, how about, yeah, these will work. 63, 54, no, 63, 53, and 52. Okay. 63. Oh, just grab those. That way I have some nice brownish tea. Tea colors, see? Tea. So that I can make it that way. All right, I actually have picked out my markers ahead of time. It does have caffeine, so it is nice, it is, it is working. Um, I picked out some kind of orangey and red colors. Um, so the flowers I think will be white. And we've got our green tea leaves. So this I don't think will be too cumbersome of a picture. I found a, um, a picture of a, let me see if I can show you. It's still up here. I found a picture of, I don't know, a box and I was kind of using that with a little bit of purple and the, the brown and orange, orange, orangey brown. So there we go. So that's kind of my inspiration for the colors. Where do I want to start? Do I want to start with a massive cake of tea? I could. All right. So. Oh, uh, give me a minute and I will be right back. All right, here we go. Let's see. 
Let's color this tea cake. Um, I think I can do it. I picked out some tea colors, you know, because we want our pictures to be authentic. So we're just going to put some dark pieces in randomly. Here. here. <clears throat> so let's see what can we talk about today um <laughs> the fact that i stay up way too late at night and am tired because oh i can't like a reasonable adult <laughs> decide that no i should not watch another show I should go to bed. I need to go to sleep. You know, to be fair, my husband said it was probably a bad idea to start an hour and a half long show at 1030. <laughs> but I said, you know what? Let's just try it because it was a new show. We can just stop half an hour in. Oh, yeah, that happened. Because why because it was good. Um, we were watching um, An Inspector Calls. Uh, now, if you are familiar with this one, um, there are several versions. I'm trying to think of the one that we're, we're watching, the one on BritBox right now. I think it's a series of like uh, three or four hour and a half long episodes. So it's kind of like a mini series and it is, I mean, I've never seen it before. Um, I'm sure if you're a fan, uh, you have, but, um, it's about a, it's basically a commentary on Victorian, um, is it Victorian and Edwardian society? and the upper class and how they don't pay attention to the things that they do and how they need to and it's very interesting um basically this inspector shows up at the house of of this family that owns a clothing factory in england and he says oh, um, I'm here, I'm forgetting exactly how it goes, but, um, he, he came because there was a suicide and he needed to get, uh, statements or he needed to talk to them. I forget exactly how he puts it. Um, and so he proceeds to, um, I mean, there's like, a daughter who they're actually having a dinner and she had just gotten engaged to a guy who uh, his dad owns the competing factory so of course you know her dad is happy about that but um, they had been dating for a while and she's very excited and everybody's very excited <clears throat> Uh, so, that being said, um, the inspector wants to talk to them about this woman, and it was a girl who worked for his father, um, but anyway, I can't, if you've never seen it, I don't want to spoil it. But I mean, it's it's all one story. I think I think there's. Oh, let me look really quick. Um, who plays the guy? Um, I think this one's from 2015. Yeah. Um, and it's. How many episodes? 
It's not very many because it's a British TV series. As much as I love British TV series, I mean, oh my gosh, y'all kill me. Y'all kill me with six episodes. What? <laughs> and there can be like 20 years in between, you know, the episodes. Just come on. It is nice because you never know if your series is canceled. It could show up randomly. Um, but then, you know, so you don't wait on anything. <clears throat> if you love British TV, you know what I'm talking about. I think at least with Call the Midwife, they do like eight or ten episodes. Um, but like, it's like like you look at some shows like A Touch of Frost or Poirot and it's like 24 years worth of episodes but there'll be like six episodes in a season <laughs> it's like that's not enough I forget what there was a crime show that I really liked um with two women there I've watched a lot of British uh crime shows <clears throat> there was um Oh, I can't remember his name now. Inspector something. Oh, DCI Banks. I watched DCI Banks. That was good. I don't know if they're going to do any more of those. Maybe they already have, and I just don't know because you forget to check. But I liked that. Um, I actually started reading the books and figured out how different they were. There was... Um, a couple of women uh, detectives in another show that I can't remember. It was like their last names. Um, I really liked that one. But I don't think they're going to do any more of those. But then again, who knows? Um, like, there's a show that I really like. <clears throat> uh, what's it called? I just looked it up the other day. And I thought that they had done three seasons and are, we're done with it, but they just came out with another season. What's it called? It's about um, an inspector and she finds, they find like, it's about cold cases basically. So they'll find a body, but maybe they'll just find a skeleton or they'll find a leg bone or something but i mean it's the murder is old the death is old uh and it's about piecing the story all the episodes in the season are piecing the story together and that is fun i was so confused um the first oh garbage truck um, all right i think they're garbage truck is gone so it gave me a chance to look up uh the lady i like is nicola walker and she is in a show called unforgotten and that is very good uh i also like vera that was good i think they may have a new series a new season of vera i have watched new tricks which that one actually is ended but there's like 10 seasons I think of that one that's about some detectives that come out of retirement that one's actually pretty funny I really really enjoyed those stories um, if you haven't seen River which is a another the River was on Netflix um, with uh, Stellan Skarsgård and Nicola Walker that is a good one uh, it's only one season. I don't know if they're going to do any more. But uh, it's an interesting story, so I would check it out. I, you know, binge TV shows that I don't watch with my husband, so. We're currently watching the season, the newest season of The Lincoln Lawyer, which is pretty good. And my mom is like, my mom, who is retired, mind you, um, 
and has been, you know, recuperating, so she doesn't have a lot to do. <laughs> she's like, she'll, she's like, have you watched The Lincoln Lawyer? Your father and I sat and binged all of it, and, like, she'll say, he went to school today, and we had one episode left, and, and I couldn't wait for him to get home, so I watched it. She's like, oh, you gotta see it, because she can't wait to talk to me about it, so... <laughs> like I can't keep up and we have to watch the new season we have to watch Ahsoka uh, which we are going to watch it's the new Star Wars series on Disney Plus um, which if you don't know who Ahsoka Tano is if you are interested at all um, they did a lot, and you don't know, they did a lot with the cartoons in Star Wars. Like, the cartoons such as Clone Wars and um, The Bad Batch and, uh, oh, what's one? My favorite one is, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, my cat is dying in the background, excuse him. Yeah, you're just totally, like, bored, dying, whatever. And I'm just sitting here ignoring you. It's so sad. Um, that was good. Oh, what is it? Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. That would be my favorite. Although the Bad Batch is pretty good. Um, so they, those, those cartoons fill in, uh, the space between the movies. Um... So once you know that, I guess because it's cheaper to create cartoons. So, you know, that was cool. Um, I really enjoyed them. Star Wars Rebels is really good. I I love that. I wish that it, it's like five seasons and it ended. Um, they're still producing The Bad Batch. But then these other series like The Mandalorian. Um, so you also... So the cartoons are meant to be part of the whole thing. So you're, you know, if you don't know, if you watch some of these things and you don't know, uh, like you watch The Mandalorian or you watch Boba Fett and you don't understand some of the things they're talking about and you've seen all the movies, it's probably because it's things that happened in the cartoon. So I recommend uh, going through them. Um, if you, I recommend watching the cartoons if you have the time and you have the interest. Um, but so they're doing Ahsoka Tano. She is a big character in the Clone Wars, which is the the first cartoon, um, and she is Anakin Skywalker's apprentice. And she is probably one of my favorite characters, um, to be honest. She and she's one of the greatest Jedi. In in my opinion. Um, but things happen, so you kind of have to to watch that. That's her story is in the Clone Wars. If you want to know who she is. Um, and where she came from, and she is a very interesting character, uh, and I like her the best. She's she's amazing. You get to see a lot of um, Obi Wan Kenobi in Clone Wars because, or yeah, Clone Wars because obviously it's before Anakin becomes Darth Vader, and you get to be you get. To, to see Anakin, you know, I liked him a lot better in the, in the cartoons. Um, so anyway, that's that. But my husband is trying to decide if he wants to wait for all the episodes to drop before we start watching it. That way we can watch more than one if we want to. <sighs> so I'm interested to see what they do with Ahsoka because she is such a cool character. I just hope I like 
<laughs> she's a cartoon. So they're putting a person to her. So that's, you know, I think that can be difficult. Either you translate it right or you don't. I mean, the Mandalorian, he was, and Boba Fett, they were all actual characters from the movie. But Ahsoka was never in the movies because, well, you know, you have to watch her story. I can't tell you because it might spoil it, but um, you have to. She is part of Star Wars. She's just in the background as far as the movies are concerned. And I really wish that she was in the movies now. I can't remember if she was ever in... Like, I was asking my husband if in one of the movies she was a background character or something. I can't remember what he said, because he's better with the trivia stuff than I am. Hmm, what should we do with this middle? Oh, why not? We'll just color it like this, because it's cool. It kind of looks like a giant chocolate donut. Which is making me want donuts. Of all the things that I miss, from being a diabetic for <laughs> a long time, 30 some years, I miss donuts a lot. I wish, oh, I miss donuts. <laughs> uh, mm. I have almost drank it all. We're getting there. Look at that. That's a nice looking poo air cake right there. Oh, so we're gonna, let's see, hmm, I don't know what I want to do next. I think, <laughs> I think I'm gonna default to some tea leaves because I know what those want to look like. And that's just my process for coloring pictures. Hmm, I don't want to start with that color. Um, because sometimes it's like, I won't know what color I want to do something. But I'll know what other things I want, so I'll just do those first. Although I try to all, not always do tea leaves with y'all. Oh. Do I want to do a dark green? Maybe. See what we can do with my see if I can make these tea leaves look decent. I don't necessarily I mean the Everblends in my opinion don't do bad with blending. I just am not used to them blending with them. As much uh, so It's not bad. Do this. But uh, so how are y'all? Um, have any of you had poo air? Do you like it? I feel like I should talk about the tea a little bit. <sighs> um. I'm going to get a motorcycle. It's been really nice. Uh, so I've had my windows open. And the scary part is, is my husband saw where, it, I mean, it, it's like going to be 70 today at some point. Maybe 72, which is really cool for September. Um... And it's very unusual. Uh, but then, welcome to the yo-yo. Uh, will be a hundred. Well, he said they've changed it now, like ninety something. Um, a week from today, of course. A week is a long ways away in terms of weather. So who knows what will happen between now and then? There's the hurricane. The weather patterns can change. So, I mean, don't, don't hold your breath on the weather, for sure. 
because it may not uh, stay. See these flowers, I'm gonna leave white. It's almost like I'm a professional. <laughs> Not. I think I gotta figure out where I want to put this purple because in that um, picture that I'm using as my reference, you know, the sky is like purple in the background. Like, you know, because it's like a morning misty sky, so it's got this light purple. And I really liked it. I really liked what it added to the colors. Um, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Am I gonna use it in the background lace or whatever, which might be cool. Um, so we'll see. Then I'm going to use some yellow. I'll have to get a gray out. And put a little bit of gray on this. I don't know. Do I want a darker yellow? Maybe. Mm. A nice bright yellow. Uh, what color did I just pick? Butter yellow. Mm, why not? That's better. Just go ahead and, and do this other one while we're at it. Ta da! Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. I'm really happy with those leaves. I've got some reds and oranges. I may, I may make this orange. I may do red. Like, it's not orange, it's like an orangey brown color. So we may do some of that here and here and red and then do the purple. It'll be interesting. I'm really jumping outside my comfort zone on some of these. I'll tell you. I need to drink some more tea. Almost gone. I still haven't figured out how to describe what it tastes like. <laughs> It's not bad. I mean, it's just, I can't quite describe it. And I know I've smelled, I haven't necessarily tasted it before, but I've smelled it, smelled that taste, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, as far as pu'eras go, I, I do like this one and I would drink it. I'll drink that last cake. So let's see, so I'm gonna take this dark, orangey brown and we're going to use it here because I said so I think I've decided that uh, I'm just gonna wait for a like Black Friday or something. I say this and then I won't do it, but um, I think I might get. I'm either gonna get the black the the um, Blick Studio brush markers, or I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some research and get the um, 320 set of brush of not of um, bullet and chisel um, ohuhu markers because 320 is a lot of colors and we'll see how many other markers I can use up. I think the problem is is um, I have so many 
and you just if you don't use them they'll dry they'll dry up so I've been trying to use a lot of them I mean I don't I guess when you consider the pencil sets I have um, I have I don't really have that many sets of markers but that's because I discovered early on that um, yeah that kind of didn't work <laughs> The question is, do I want this teacup to be red or orange? That's going to be a tough decision. I hate it when I vacillate like that. And I think, I think red, because I think this red... Oh, should I make that call and just do it? And just, just, let's see. Is it going to look okay? If I do this. <laughs> well, you know, not bad. I have to decide if I want to add other things to that. pretty I may darken that or do something else with that we'll see it may just take some pencil to to darken that up a little bit but I see that color a lot in um, Chinese like teapots and stands and stuff like that so and then this we'll just we'll just commit okay so let me do this so I can show you what I'm thinking Might as well do that too. And then, uh, so I have, where's my light purple? So I have this light purple color and it will go back here. I think it'll be pretty. Yeah. So and that so I'm gonna use this purple for my background. I think that'll be cool. So let me finish this up. I just have to decide about this cup, so we'll see. Um let me finish this up and I will be back. Okay, so here it is done. A little unexpected, um, but it came out cool. I mean I I went outside my comfort zone for colors and you know, so um, I used colors off of my inspiration picture. So because this gray, this bluish gray comes from uh, the kind of mountain sky that's all misty in the background. So anyway, I think it's cool. It's, it's an, an interesting set of colors, so I like it. Um, so I'm going to, I've got to catch up on my posting to the hashtag. Uh, so don't forget to post your pictures to um, time for a cuppa. I think I put I put the I put it in the description <laughs> if I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I think it's time for a cup of coloring book, but uh, it'll be in there. So um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. And next week we are doing Reubus, which is awesome. I love Reubus not to figure out what these flowers are so we're gonna get into some interesting teas we're almost done with this book i'm excited i'll have a completed book by the time this is over <laughs> all right you all have a great week and i will see you in the next video bye